Kate from BetterBodyTips.com. I'm here today to talk about how to improve your butt. Um, uh, before I've written one article, and this is going to be the second article, um, I want to talk about how to increase your butt muscle and how to decrease your butt muscle. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Um, if you want to increase your butt, that is one kind of round it up, uh, I would suggest to do 8 to 10 reps of the exercises I'm about to show you. If you like to decrease your butt muscles, I'm going to suggest that you do uh, about 15 to 20 reps. So to keep that in mind, I'm going to go through a set of exercises that I hope you enjoy. And you can take it with you um, at the gym or at home. So anything that I use that is a machine, of course, you're going to be doing at the gym. And some of the exercises that I do from the mat, you can do from home. So the good thing about the drills that I'm about to show you are, again, you could do this at home or you could do this in the gym. Now, keep in mind, do not overtrain the butt muscles. It doesn't mean if you work out your butt muscles more that you're going to get those perfect glute muscles. Uh, overtraining does not get you anywhere. The maximum amount of time that you want to train your glute muscles are two to three times weekly. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, I'd suggest more two, week, uh, two times a week. And um, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and show you some exercises. I hope that you enjoy them. Uh, we're going to start off, I'm going to be doing a circuit style. And I will be doing um, 10 on each leg, okay, because keep in mind, you got to do each glute muscle. And I'm going to be doing circuit style. So when you do these, I'd like you to do the same thing, a circuit style, resting about 15 seconds in between each one, okay? So we're going to start right over here. I'm going to do a single leg squat, okay? So this is the first one in the circuit. Again, the first one in the circuit. So you can sit anywhere, you can sit on um, just a regular seat at home or in the gym, sit on a bench. You're going to lift one leg up, remember you're pushing off from the heel, do not swing through, do not push your chest forward, I want you to push up, squeeze the glute muscle, come on up and then sit back down. And again, stand up and squeeze the glute muscle and sit back down. And again, squeeze and release. Breathing out and deep breath in. From there, 15 seconds have gone by. I want you to come right over to the seated press. On the seated press, one leg is up. Unlock. And again, head is back. Let it come all the way down. Again, push through your heel and come on up. One. Bring it all the way down. I always say keep fist distance and push. Two. You can even advance it by taking your foot, your toe off the machine so that you really push through that heel and push. Ten each side I've done. From there, I'm going to take it weight to the ground now. I'm going to grab my free weight. I happen to have an eight pound weight. Mine you can use any weight. I'm going to hook this behind my leg. On all fours, pulling in from my abdominals. You don't want to have a sway in your lower back. Also keep your hands right by your shoulder girdle, not way out in front. From there, we're going to pull it all the way in. That knee must come all the way in. And squeeze it up. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold for a two count. And deep breath in. And again, bring it up and squeeze. After I've done eight to ten of those, I'm now going to bring it out to the side. And out to the side and pull it back in. And out to the side, extend, extend, extend. Pull it back in. Remember that two second hold. Great, now we've done eight to 10 of those. Now I'm gonna take it into a reverse hyperextension. There, we need a ball. It helps to be able to grab onto something. So I'm gonna roll right out. You can grab onto a chair, a bench, etc. From there, Keeping my feet together, I'm going to bring it up, squeezing my feet for a two count, and down, toe touch. And up, squeeze, and release. And squeeze, and release. Okay, and here is another machine. So we have been on the seated leg press, and now second machine, which you can find at the gym, is the abductor machine. There's both inner and outer. The abductor is the outer. People focus on it for their outer hips. I find it very good for the glutes. The key though, sit forward on your seat. 
Sit up nice and tall, pull in those abdominals, squeeze that butt as tight as you can. Come on out, hold for a two count, and then close. And bring it open, squeeze, 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 and close. And again, as you come open, squeeze the glutes, and then close. And this is a great exercise to really just focus on your glutes as well. Again, you should get a good burn, either eight to 10 reps, or you can do 15 to 20. Whatever exercise it is you're doing, make sure you're concentrating on that muscle group. So if you're working the glutes, make sure that you have that mind-body connection. As you're squeezing, squeeze those glute muscles, give a nice two-second hold, really feel the burn happening. Work the muscle until you have a burn. The burn is a good thing. The burn means the muscle is working uh, as well. Before you even start the circuit program, I want you to remember the two musts to having good glutes. One is a squat. So remember when you're squatting, I'll do it from the side right here. You want to put all your weight into your heels. Your chest is open. Bring it down and squeeze it up. Now we get that squeeze in. And come on down and hold it, hold it, and then squeeze it up. Weighted, not weighted, whatever it might be. Just remember the squats are a must. Okay? The second one is a lunge. Okay? Lunge. Remember that foot forward, right foot back, on that back toe, focus straight ahead, hips turn, face the front, bring it down, hold, hold. Drop that knee almost all the way to the bottom. Weight is in the heel, don't let that knee come over your toe, it's behind. Focus on that glute and squeeze it up. And again, bring it down, hold, and squeeze it up. There are many types of lunges. This is the lunge I'm demonstrating for today. It helps you to focus on that glute muscle.